So in this comprehensive video, we're going to cover what is the balance shaft sprocket, what it does and what happens to it in the affected car. Second, we're going to see how to check to see if your engine number is affected. Third, I'm going to show you how the fault code looks like in an OBD2 scanner as well as the star diagnostic. Fourth, I'm going to uh, show you how to check your balancer shaft sprocket to see if it's worn or not. Fifth, I'm going to experiment to see how much wear is too much wear. And finally, and number six, can you fix this issue by changing the magnets and sensor kit? We're gonna find out. So stay tuned, it's gonna be an exciting one and hopefully a relieving one for you. So first of all, let's talk about what is a balance shaft. The balance shaft for the M272 engine, they are designed to counteract the inherent vibrations and imbalances that occurs during the engine operation. So it usually sits behind this pulley, but behind all the covers. So to take that balance shaft and sprocket out, the engine basically needs to uh, be out of the engine bay. It's above the uh, crankshaft, and in M272 engine uh, for the early years, 2006 and 7, the sprocket is not the high quality material. So it wears out prematurely. So the cam chain goes around the cam sprocket, the intake one, and the exhaust one is geared to the camshaft for the uh, intake. So we will have two camshafts, which has sprockets and the cam chain around them. And it goes down to the, the balance shaft sprocket and goes up to the right hand side bank. So if that balance shaft sprocket wears, it causes the excessive slack of the chain. And that chain on the right hand side, because the engine rotates the clockwise, it first rotates the left hand side cams and then second the right hand side bank. So it always affects the right hand side bank and it produces sl a slack and a delay in the timing of the right hand side bank. That what happens when your sprocket is worn out. It also produces noise in excessive conditions because there would be a lot of slack in your cam chain. The problem is some of those particles from that uh, balance shaft sprocket might end up in your oil and in your system, which is not good for your engine. Also, if that continues the wear on your sprocket, that can ultimately cause a timing chain and timing system catastrophic failure to your engine. There has been some recalls on this and fixes by Mercedes-Benz, but in not in many countries, unfortunately. The second topic is how can you check to see if your engine is affected. So you need your VIN number first of all, and then you need to put your VIN number in a website that I provide you in the description. And then you can see the engine number of your car. And then if your engine number is within these two uh, numbers, engine numbers, your engine is affected with lower quality balance shaft sprocket. So make sure to refer to the description to go to that website and check that for yourself. Okay, what about the fault codes? The fault codes are the famous P0016 and P0017 that you would read on any OBD2, a proper OBD2 scanner. So now your car might have 200K on the clock and maybe the previous owner has rectified this issue. How you wanna check this? If you do not have any cam uh, chain symptoms like the codes and the fault codes or the noise, you might ignore this. But if you would like to check and you have the code, the fault codes, checking is not very difficult. This is the way you need to check. First of all, you need to remove two sensors, one from the right hand bank and one from the left hand bank. These are the camshaft sensors. So you really need to take the camshaft position sensor 
from the intake side. So that's the intake side and that's the exhaust side. As you can see, the exhaust is on that side of the engine. So you need to take that as well as as well as that. The sprocket for the exhaust cam is geared to the uh, intake sprocket. So you don't need to check those. But I have removed them out of curiosity. So once you remove your sensors, you need to come down here. You need a 27 millimeter socket with a long handle ratchet. Once you set it at 305 degrees like that, as you can see over there, you will see that in this camshaft position sensor hole, this circle marking, which is a part number, is exactly in the middle of the hole. So now what you need to do is, so that's the left hand bank and the camshaft sensor is the intake camshaft so now you need to come here and check this camshaft position sensor hole and what we need to see over here is is without changing the position of the crankshaft pulley this should sit in the middle as you can see this is not exactly in the middle but after 200,000 kilometers on the clock my cam chain should have some slack into it i think this amount of slack and not being in the middle can be okay but there is one way of checking this so what i do now i'll go ahead and replace all of the magnets the four magnets and four sensors the magnets are the black ones with three bolts on them and i will change the sensors as well if those magnets are faulty you will have the same at fault codes coming through so what i need to do is replacing everything for magnets and for cps camshaft position sensor so now let's go ahead and replace these to see if that makes any change this kit you can buy from ebay or any other uh, store i have bought this complete set for 170 australian dollars there is also one benefit in uh, replacing these CPS and you see that rubber seal over there. These leaks over the time. So these are brand new and hopefully they're going to last some time and avoid the oil leak all over the engine. In this case, the part number for these uh, sensors are 272905143. And as you can see, the old seals were leaking so badly and I had all sorts of leak around these sensors. Of course, these sensors are original, as you can see. So I have removed all four CPS. One quarter of an inch spanner did work. The ring size, of course, on this area, which has little access. So you don't have to take anything. I have seen videos, people taking these off only purely because of uh, those magnets removal. So it is possible with even one quarter of an inch uh, spanner. Of course, it's much preferable to use the eTorque E8 socket or E8 spanner. But all is removed, I just need to pull them out. And this is the fourth one. Of course, uh, the one behind the uh, reservoir is a bit harder to pull out. Uh, I'm not sure if you need to remove those three bolts for the steering uh, wheel uh, hydraulic uh, reservoir or not. But I have taken those three bolts already. Okay, here is the new part and it does come with a new seal, which is very good. It's recommended to lubricate these seals before putting back. Okay, all four magnets are all in. Now let's put the camshaft position sensors on.
Okay, all the sensors uh, were replaced uh, for magnets and for CPS, and it took like half an hour. Although this space over here, depending on your tools and what you have, uh, it might take a bit longer. Next, let's go ahead and clear the codes because previously, no matter what, the codes would come back even after clearing the codes. So I'm now going to clear the codes and start the car and check to see what happens. Okay, 200,000 kilometers on the clock and we have the check engine light on. Okay, let's clear these codes. Codes cleared. Read again. So there is no code anymore. Let's start the engine. the four and for the first time as you can see there is no engine lights okay unfortunately that didn't happen it's about three four months later and I haven't had a chance to post that video but the day after I captured that video the code came back again on the OBD2 scanner and the check engine light turned on so the only way to get rid of that uh, code, the P0016 and P0017, is to replace the balance shaft sprocket with a high quality new one. And there is no other way. And you need to take the engine out and if done by a proper mechanic, you will probably be charged like $4,000. This is another uh, M272 engine. This is a 2010 M272 engine and this one has no issue with balance shaft sprocket whatsoever. The engine is so smooth, so nice without any fault at all. So make sure you buy a car that is not affected with this fault at all. Otherwise you have to bear the consequences and or repair and replace the balance shaft sprocket. Therefore, replacing the cam magnets and cam sensors might not solve your problem if the balance shaft sprocket is worn. So we checked this with OBD2 scanner, but uh, I do not like OBD scanner. I just want to get the last word from star diagnostic. So let's do this. Okay, and we have almost same as the OBD2 scanner. I mean, we have P0017 and P0016, constant adjustment of exhaust and intake camshafts. And it's only the right hand cylinder bank in direction retarded. Also do the same check on your oil filter inside and outside to see if you spot any metal shaving or particles. But in this case, I can't see anything wrong here. So it's dirty, but no metal shaving over here, which is a good news for the M272 engine. The other way to check to see if you have uh, metal shaving and particles inside your oil. So previously I had a bit of leaf and debris inside this bucket, but except that I can't see any uh, sparkling shiny debris inside it, which is a good news. You can also use a super magnet to see if you catch anything on it. Thanks so much for watching, liking, subscribing. 
please have another look at my channel. I've got lots of videos coming as well. Let's go.